welcome to Arise, your favorite Sunday morning talk show. I like it when you say that, Ayla. Really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You know, no, no, I gotta have my little. Yeah, you got, like, you got yeah. it. You got it. You got it. Well, as you know, we are not in our usual setting. Usually, we are in our live on the altar, or we are in our recording studio. But today, we have a very special setting because. We are going to take you along on our Bahamas trip. Woo! That's going to be a journey. It's going to be amazing. So we are actually starting today on July the 13th. Correct. Or July 14th. July 14th. July 14th. And we're going to take you throughout the week with us on our trip. Now, today actually is the conclusion of Youth Week. And as you can see by our shirts, more than Concord. Yes. This Youth Week has been absolutely amazing. I'm going to make you. What it's, do you been, it's been mind-blowing. Yes. A lot of people... Yeah. Uh, kudos to all the young adults, all the amazing, youth yeah. have done an amazing job, the parents, the teachers, volunteers, I mean, you guys rock. We yeah. all together in Christ are more than conquerors. Yeah, honestly, and it, honestly, it's just been so amazing to see the youth involved in so many different ways. The variety night, oh my God. Oh yeah, awesome. Talent upon awesome. talent games. Awesome. I just, excuse awesome. me, awesome. Things I've never, I never expected from them, awesome. but all the props to them. So to all of our youth, congratulations on completing your youth week. And we're, I believe we're also um, congratulating our graduates. Yes, 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 a ton of them. You probably have the numbers. About I think it was like 30 a lot of them graduated high graduates. school, going to college and graduating college. I mean, you guys, you guys have done well yeah. and we Very sincerely, nice. sincerely celebrate you. Yeah, we do. Well, we are taking you along with us, as we said. So our next stop is Miami. 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 All right. Yep. So, <laughs> so see you, you in Miami. Miami. <laughs> All right, we are back and we are here in Miami. Miami yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's been a great time. So Take a look far. at all the folks going on board the yeah. ship. Everybody yeah. say hi, wave. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mommy Shade, and there's a, a chief chaperone. <laughs> so, so we're back in Miami. We're, we're in yeah. Miami right now. We're, yeah. we're trying to get on the ship right yeah, now. Yeah, we're ready to, to go. Yeah. Um, it, it's been fun. Yeah. Uh, that's Mommy Shade for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, we'll see you in Bahamas. Bye. 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 having fun and we're not afraid to call the name of Jesus. So we have a song for you everybody. As long as I'm breathing. Well, we are back and officially on day three of our Bahamas trip. We first came live to you from Coco Cay Island in the water, which was so no, we came live first from TKP. First, TKP, right on Sunday. On Monday, we were in, where were we? Miami. 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 That was wow. For everyone who traveled to Miami, especially bus one, we thank God that we made it to Miami safely. Then on Tuesday, where were we at? Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah. Mommy Bahamas. No, Nassau, Bahamas, yes. We were in Nassau, Bahamas yesterday, and today we are in Coco Cay Island. It was actually such a wonderful trip. And now we have the amazing, the wonderful, anointed, very, wow. Oh. I don't, I don't, I, you think it's the sun that's making me sweat. It's not. It's, it's the power. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary <laughs> But yes, we have the wonderful pastor and pastor Mrs. Tinde and Shadi Thank you for having us. Thank you, Thank you for having us. It's been a while we had open mic with both. I know. Oh. It's been such a fantastic Thank time. you so much for having us. No problem. All right, I'll kick it off. Mommy Shadi, like yes. we formally call you and Pastor Badger. What's the vision behind it? I think this is the 14th trip. 
Yeah, I was 14 to 15. Oh, I can't really. What, what's the vision behind this? Because it takes a lot to be able to do this year in, year out consistently. Okay. Um, it was a dream I had. Uh, not like I slept. I have a dream, but when I was very young, I shared with few people. Uh, my dad told me it was going to take me, take us all over the world, take us from New York to here, here to there. I think I was about 12. We all took our passports, and he had the money, but he didn't have the time. So he only took us to only one place, and um, I just decided in my heart that whoever I'm going to marry must take me everywhere. So when I got married, um, I told my husband, uh, this is what my daddy promised me, and um, I'm going to take my children there and you are going to take me there, I'm going to go to New York, I'm going to go everywhere in the world with my children. So as God will have it, I got some delay. So when it was my 40th birthday, I said, I have to start this thing I have in my heart, to be taking children everywhere. So um, whether they're my biological or not, my all my children, spiritual, I'm going to take them. So we started... And then we went to Galveston, and from Galveston, we went to San Antonio. From San Antonio, I think we went to Florida. We just keep going back and forth everywhere in the U.S. Wow. Well, until we went to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cancun. Cancun. Cancun, which is Mexico, Ooh. first international yeah, trip. Yeah, And now this is the second international, international trip. Yeah. That's actually been so amazing. Oh, I the, first the first cruise. The first cruise. Yeah, the first cruise. Woo! I'm going to sit all the time, cruise. Cruise. <laughs> cruise. <laughs> cruise. <laughs> cruise. <laughs> cruise. <laughs> and we love it. It's been very beautiful. fantastic. This is beautiful. And I think I now have to, you know, tell my future husband the same thing yeah. I seen the world with them, right? <laughs> but you know I think one thing people kind of take for granted is the planning that actually goes behind all yeah. of this so can you kind of just give us just a little insight on how does the planning work how do you choose your team and how do you go about ensuring that at least every day is set and prepared for all the people who are attending okay I cannot take the Holy Spirit for granted. Mm-hmm. I cannot take God for granted. I cannot say I did this on my own. It's the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. It's God that directs our path. It's God that chooses for us. I remember I was, they were giving me, uh, I was asking for suggestions of where we're going. I was thinking oh, we should go to this place. I wonder, I was doing my meditation in the morning and the Lord just dropped a, an itinerary to me and I shared it with my husband, I shared with the major as well, that God is dropping an itinerary with me so i think it's god i think the wisdom of god is takes perseverance it takes zeal it, it takes passion patience patience, oh, patience. <laughs> <laughs> and i want to thank god for Vladimichi. i'm gonna say this to the whole world for for joining the team it makes a lot of difference mm. it, the difference of Help me two hours before we boarded. We had a, a, a little, uh, not a little, almost two or three hours that we had to stay behind to make sure that a child comes in because the mom didn't do what she needed to do to have the child um, and the papers they needed for the child to be on board. But he was patient, so I had to leave them because I was a bit tired. I'm 50, I'm 50 something. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well, yeah, you were amazing. You mm-hmm. stayed with us. I mean, and Pastor Buki, I remember as well. Waiting. Yeah, and Pastor Buki. And that one is a lot of your energy to yes. really help that child. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we celebrate you. Uh, Pastor Tunde, real quick, what's the spiritual aspect to this? Because I know a lot of times when you go on these trips, uh, you, yeah, you, you find time to connect with us, with the children. What's the spiritual aspect of this, the impact it has on the life of the children? They have a lot. On this trip, we're 241. Yeah. yeah we're about. Yeah. Mm. What spiritual impact does it have in the life of the children? That parents at home who even send their kids mm. or children to this trip don't even know. Well, I mean, um, again, I mean, th- thank you guys for, for the great job that you are doing. I mean, it's, it's amazing, the planning. But uh, to your question. I mean, when you look at the mystery of Jesus Christ, which, to be honest, for the most part, I try to pattern, you know, how I approach ministry. Jesus Christ told them, let the children <laughs> come unto me. So don't stop them. Don't hinder them. Don't forbid them from coming. Let, let them come. And by the King's Palace, everything we do must have something to do with the children, whether it is drama, 
whether it is the music academy, whether it's the sports academy, whatever it is. Because, see, if you put Christ in their heart from childhood, if you let them see the value of the church right from childhood, when they grow up, they won't depart from it. They play soccer in church. Then they grow up, they remember church. They do drama in church. When they grow up, they remember church. They do the trumpet and saxophone and keyboard and drum in church. When they grow up, they won't depart from it. They come on all of these trips through the church. When they grow up, they will not walk away from the church. That thing is the connection that all of these things bring you know, to the children in terms of the value that the church you know, plays in their lives. Of course, you know, when, when you come into church and you meet Christ as a child, even if you, if you buy away one day, you will remember and you will come back. For me, I think, you know, if, if there's anything I thought that is the most important, I think that is the most important. Yeah, and honestly, like Pastor mentioned, it's good to connect such good things with church because a lot of people have, they call it church hurt. But like things like this, these trips, the ministries they're all a part of, it kind of brings this image of church in their head and Christ as well. Like for me, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to the Bahamas with my church to one of my friends. And they said, the Bahamas on a cruise? Your church? I say, yeah. Like that's just what well, you tell me. How many people were interested in the yellow, green, oh, and so many yeah. Thank you for so I know. Yeah. And it was just so amazing. And just like that, even the children, they don't, they see themselves there being a band right then and there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I told you. I mean, uh, some, uh, we won blue yesterday. Yeah. 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 Okay. So a couple, a white couple came to me and said, those children that are playing, probably some children playing soccer, say, wow, they are Christ, they are Jesus boys. I said, what wow. happened? He said, a, a child fell and injured himself, oh. not from our group, but our children went and took care oh, of this wow. child. I said, what's wrong? It's not even from their group. Look at mm-hmm. how they take care of them. Well, mm. that, that's how they're taught. They're yeah. taught, you know, to be kind. To be kind. You know, they're taught to love others. Compassionate. Yeah. And honestly, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. And I'm just happy for everyone. I'm I happy hope for you everyone. all had fun, though, because... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a yeah, lot it's of fun. So what has been our favorite part of the trip? From leaving to Miami, to Bahamas, what has been our favorite part so far? Every aspect of it is... It's, but I like the directing people and instruction. <laughs> Instructing them. <laughs> and correcting. I to go to a room last night to correct some people. Yeah, okay. I like that aspect of it. Okay. It gives me joy. I, like mm-hmm. I think if you ask 20 people, you're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. for me, just meeting you in church and then you, you can connect this child to yeah. this, mm-hmm. this one to this mom. But just mm-hmm. being able to say, oh, that's your dad. That's, yeah. that's your child. For me, I think. You know that connection is maybe yeah, something, and you know, also see the children happy, yeah. joyful. You know, I ask them, "Are you? Oh, I love it. Uh-huh. Well, do you prefer going with your parents or the church? They say, "I want the church." <laughs> a woman told me, "My daughter is warning me now that don't come with me next time. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not coming with. I'm coming with the church group." Uh-huh. So that gives you joy, and a lot of our new people they come and encourage you and say, "Wow, this is an amazing job," and we have people who invited their friends on board they come and they text and they encourage you and um you know pastor was asking me do you know i don't know everybody i don't know in fact i was just hearing that some ticket me academy uh, family still join yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah there are a lot of people that are not members of the church I say it's for uh, as long as you're a child of God, you can come on board. <laughs> yeah. you know, Pastor, what really impressed me, and I'm not going to mention names, is on this trip I saw a few men that actually, uh, naturally, you don't see them do a lot of things in the mm-hmm. church, but they identify with the family. Yeah. How can we get men to start doing things like, you know, coming to Bible study, coming to trips like this, encouraging the children? It's beyond the money you make. It's spending time. How can we encourage a lot of men? I think I'd like to, man, like, by the great job you guys are doing at, at the rise, just letting people see that there's, there's more to life than this, creating that awareness. But I think beyond that is the fact that, trust me, these children will get back home. And they will say something to that. They will say something to that friend. They will say something to a man, you know, they will say something to their teacher. And I think the multiplier effect of all of that should be challenging. You know, to to any man, because when children <laughs> speak to you about something that you ought to do that you are not doing, 
uh, even if you're a tough man, you will go and think, you know, and, and begin to do what you ought to do. I mean, it comes across everything we do. I, I mean, I see some people like my was say from Music Academy who are not necessarily members no, of the church. church. Uh, a man was telling me that before he would just drop the children for the music thing and mm -hmm. they would go back. I was been doing that for I don't know maybe one year. After a while, they just Dad, why are you not? Mm -hmm. Why are you not in this yeah. church? And since that moment, that that father has been a member of our church, and I learned from a friend that in their previous church, the man wasn't doing anything. Wow. Mm. But this same man I'm talking about, I have to mention the name, very busy wow. at the King's Palace, just because the, the child challenged, challenged. Mm. So I think we just continue to do all that we are doing. It has multiplied, it has effect beyond what we can even see. Mm. We also have to commend our Father and the Lord, Pastor yeah. Bible, for coming with us. Oh, I've yeah. always asked people, I said, how many of you would your pastor be following you for on a trip? Mm. Every, Pastor, year. every year, every year, I've not so say they are busy. So it starts from the leadership. It starts from the head of the family, the head of anything. The head of anything makes a lot of difference. Imagine pastor is here, his assistant is here. But we have almost how many pastors are here in our church? Pastor, 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 pastor Kinde is here. They are the leader. They are the head of a church. <laughs> so they are here. So it takes a lot of um love and uh, for for the for the people of god and one of the one of our brothers and sisters was telling me that one of the um invited guests that came on board said she has never seen a place where pastor the wife they are helping people they are asking you have you eaten that is they rather see that people are bringing food to them so god jesus served is ministered to people so, and that's what we should do as leaders as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have any questions. I think I have I, one last question. I was, I was going to have one, but it's more of like trying to kind of gauge. You know, we've gone on such amazing trips. It's getting bigger and better. I was wondering if we can get a sneak peek into next year's trip. Oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Before Mom and Shani say that, if we look behind, we are yeah, actually the ocean. Mm -hmm. We just came back from Coco okay. So the question I have for Pastor Tune and Pastor Shadi is, is anyone walking on waters, walking on the sea of this trip? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we will do great. Yeah, that's part of what we are doing. Greater works yeah, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you know, this is already greater works. Uh, Jesus didn't have the, this size of ship. Yeah. Yeah. This time, this is, this is a greater yeah, work. Walking on water, yeah. swimming on water. Yeah. Come on, swimming on water. Honestly, I, I spent time with a few people, and they told me in the morning when they walk out to see nature, mm, they yeah. even draw them close. Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of people uh, pray walks in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And they said there's a track. There's a yeah, track. There's oh, a track. Yeah. 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 Ooh, okay, Niagara, okay. Rooms, uh, Niagara, New York for those who cannot cross and we give a whole day for those who want to go into Canada. So it's not only really international, it's both local and international because some people may not be able to cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you are crossing to Canada, that's going to be on your own. Uh, yeah, for those who want to cross Canada, we give you the. Yeah, you can walk in and then walk here and come back. At least, oh, I'm in Canada, I take a picture. Yeah. So because we we don't want to deny some people two consecutive mm -hmm. years, yeah, yeah of not going. So some children really want to go. So we we'll give them that New York. Wonderful. Uh, parents, mommy and Shadi, mommy Shadi and Pastor Tony Badu, we truly honor, love, yes. and celebrate you. We don't take this for granted. Uh, before this interview, you had like what four different people try to yeah. get your time for different meetings. So <laughs> this is very 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 special to us that you're yeah. taking your time to share your vision. Um, how God has led you and just 
really, really, really getting close to the people at TKB and also in the world to, to tell them that this is this is amazing. I mean, we're wearing the blue, the yellow, the green, and people are really getting to know Christ through the behavior of our children. Yeah. Everywhere we went, people are saying, oh, what, what are you guys doing? Is this a church? Wow, thank you for showing Jesus. And we really, truly owe that to your leadership. We love thank you. We celebrate you. Thank you so much. Great. Final words, Ellen. Ah, it's been an amazing trip. We're headed home. Mm. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for everything. Mm. But as Uncle Demetri said, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Mommy, yes. for this. Yeah, well, one more thing. I just want to say thank you to everyone that signed up their children, all our amazing chaperones, and the team that helped us put this together. I want to say a very, very big thank you to the leadership of the church, starting from Pastor Badu, Pastor Ibuna, and Stamon, and everyone in the leadership, uh, Brother Tunde, uh, Pastor Tunde, and Pastor Demetri, their wives. Oh, my beautiful boogie. Uh, Buki, the middle Buki, the Buki, the Buki, and the Buki. Okay, so I want to say thank you to each and every one of us. Sister Mommy, she yeah. thank you yes. for wow. these people yes. that have been part of this program. We love you and we appreciate you and everyone that gave extra. Do you know the day that? We missed our flight. Do you want us to share the testimony briefly? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, so. briefly. So. The first set of <laughs> the two parents we were rushing to go, and we were happy. And they said, "Oh, we are going to get to there before that." Yeah. As soon as we got to the airport, they moved us from our yeah. gate to another gate. It's a big testimony. Yeah. We are thirty-eight of us, including those who purchased their tickets on their own, mm-hmm. and the group. The group was like thirty-four, and five people purchased their tickets. They moved us, which was. Okay. okay, and it's not said, Oh, it's delayed because the aircraft was bad. We said, Okay, that's fine. And he said, Your, your flight is cancelled. And we're like, Did you hear what they said? Maybe they are so happy. They cancelled. We're like, No, no, no. Okay, so the next step is, What do we do? I called you, you remember? And I went back to the line, and God gave us this angel of an angel. Angel, he said, I'm putting on a 650 flight. I said, When I said tomorrow, I said, no, We are going today, we are going, we cannot go tomorrow. And a man just walked to another angel walked to her and said, Can you try Orlando for them? Do they want to go to Orlando? I said, Yes, we go to Orlando. So we called Orlando, uh, we called our boss, and the boss said, Oh, we are moving you. Um, if it's allowed, we're going to get $2,200. I said, okay, for now, we really don't care about how much. And we told him, do you know one of the parents of the child on our trip sent us $1,000 on that day? And one other person on that, on that same trip gave us $1,000 to meet up on that. And those who gave whatever they gave, I want to say thank you to those two people because they made it easy for us to be able to transit from Orlando and we got to Miami 4 a.m. because we had to take a bus. And the driver told us, the bus man told us, I'm not sure I can get anybody, this is 3 p.m. And we need a bus at 10, 4 hours away. They got somebody. Yeah. What are the chances that they have points? Well, that's that's that a miracle. They, they gave us 38 seats. Do you know God went ahead? God knew they were going to try to make sure that that uh, aircraft is empty. They said the aircraft was almost empty. And they put all of us seats into that aircraft. All of us. After they sit all of us, you know, I now went, the aircraft was full. Mm-hmm. Maybe they were moving other people, yeah. other people were moving in. Ah, thank you, Jesus, for that testimony. Thank you. We've seen the hand of God all through this. All through the children have been the And the child that, that they removed, that they said he wasn't going to go, mm. that's another testimony. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 that's what we are looking for at least. Maybe three and three hours, mm-hmm. and eventually she was able to make it. Yeah, I mean, just seeing the hand of God, all good, all good, all good. I would say, all good. I don't even went to Coco Cay. Yeah, God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Thank you so much. Any final words, Pastor, before we go? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be very fast. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank you.